It's a California odyssey that has riveted wolf lovers and haters alike. In what appears to be an epic search for territory and mates, a gray wolf from Oregon has ventured hundreds of miles into California, farther than any other wolf in modern times. In just under two months, the young male known as OR93 has blazed a scented trail past northern California lava beds, over snowy passes of the Sierra Nevada, and along the outskirts of Yosemite National Park. This week, OR93 emerged in an agricultural area near Fresno. Its lengthy journey has upended all scientific assumptions on wolf dispersal patterns, including computer-modeled projections. Some conservationists say they hope the wolf's arrival presages a resurgence of the species in California. At the same time however, they acknowledge that as OR93 presses further south, toward civilization, his journey becomes ever more perilous. Recently, a GPS tracking collar on the almost two-year-old wolf revealed that it had crossed Highway 99, one of Central California's busiest and most dangerous roads. But ending up as roadkill is not the only threat he faces. Now that OR93 has entered the fertile Central Valley, the odds are greater that he could be killed while searching for prey on ranch lands. Our members' first priority is to safeguard their animals and herds, said Kirk Wilbur, Vice President of Government Affairs for the California Cattlemen's Association. So, they are very concerned about wolves killing their livestock. At this point, OR93's fate is anybody's guess. Many wolves have passed from Oregon into California in the past, but they rarely venture far, and they often cross back over the border. We don't know where this wolf will be going next, said Jordan Traverso, spokeswoman for the California Department of Fish and Wildlife but it will continue traveling until it finds what it is looking for, or aborts its mission. Wolf advocates could not be happier. The wolf, which first set paw in California on January 30, has traversed more than 500 miles of terrain including the high, cold, and steep Sierra Nevada range. Throughout his journey, OR93 has left behind a scent trail for other wolves to follow, and has presumably sustained itself on rodents, and perhaps its favorite meal large hoofed mammals. It's this appetite for ungulates such as deer, bison, elk and moose that most concerns Central Valley ranchers, who regard OR93's presence as a heated wildlife issue. Shortly after it entered the state, the California Cattlemen's Association began notifying ranchers of its progress. That's because there's no natural prey base for wolves in the Fresno area, no populations of deer and elk large enough to sustain them, Wilbur said. As a result, the arrival of OR93 is nothing but bad news and a real threat to livestock in the area.